Welcome back everyone. This is the final module of our Python data type. In this module, we are going to discuss about what exactly is a dictionary and what are the methods associated to it. Before this video, we have looked into all the other data types, including list, tuples, sets, boolean, numbers, and strings. Without any further ado, let's start with this session. Now, Dictionaries are used to store data values in key value pairs. We have a key and each key has a value assigned to it. A dictionary is a collection which is ordered, changeable and it does not allow duplicates. So it is changeable, it does not allow duplicates and it is ordered. The main key point to keep in this session is that dictionaries are key value pairs. For each and every key a value has been assigned to it. Now, this is one of a short example about dictionary. So this is how the structure of a dictionary looks like. So we have a dictionary name. Let's name it as my dict. Then a curly brace is on and then you have to write key, colon and then your value. A key can be anything. It can be a string. It can be a number. It depends upon you what you want to keep your key as. And you have to assign a value assigned to it. Then by just putting out comma, you can just move into the next line to assign one more value. That is how you can move on till as many pairs as you want. That's a common structure about how dictionary looks like. Now let's look into a example about dictionary. Comparing side by side, we are just naming it as dict, this dict. So this is my dictionary name. Then again curly braces open as we can see in this uh, structure of a dictionary and then I have a key that is brand and then I have a value assigned to it that is 4. Again I have a key model and I have a value assigned mustang to it. Same I have a key here and I have a value assigned 1969. Then if you want to print it out you can just use out the print statement and you can display out our dictionary. Now. Let's jump into a Jupyter notebook and get some hands-on experience into this. So now we are in our Jupyter notebook. Let's start with changing our name to dictionary. Now that's it done. Let's toggle everything out. So we are going to go to view, toggle header and then toggle toolbar. So as we have seen out the syntax of we had a key and we had a val uh, value pair. So in this tutorial, we are going to cover the basic characteristics of Python dictionaries and learn how to access and manage dictionary data. Once we have finished the tutorial of this one, then we should have a good sense of when a dictionary is, appro uh, is appropriate data type to be used for. Dictionaries have and list have quite a few similarities. First of all, they are mutable, both are dynamic. They can grow and shrink as needed. Both can be nested as we have talked about nested one inside the other. So both can be nested. A list can contain another list. A dictionary can also contain another dictionary. As I can say they can be nested. A dictionary can also contain a list and vice versa. Dictionaries differ from list primary in how elements are accessed. The way we are taking out or taking values from the dictionary is much different from how we used to access our values in list. List elements are accessed by the their position in the list that is by indexing 0, 1, 2, 3 and in dictionaries they are accessed by key. Now, now that we have a good sense of what a dictionary is and uh, how it is different and how similar it is to list, let's start with our first example. So we are going to take a very simple example over here of my dict. So as we see curly braces and over here let's say right now I have key 1 and for each key we have a value so value 1 comma then again key 2 and then value 2 let's give we don't need a comma anymore if I execute it up, it will be working totally fine. Let's display it up. So you can see that I have key 1, value 1, key 2, value 2. Now, if I want a value of a particular key, 
So how to access the value of any particular key? It's quite simple. In list, we were using indexing. That we was we were taking the index of that particular value and we are just getting out whatever value was assigned over there. So we are going to do something like this in dictionary. My dict uh, square braces and inside square braces we have key two. And if I write out key two, I'll just get whatever value is assigned to it. Same thing for key one. If I do it for key one, I'll get the value that is assigned to it. Now let me take one more quick example. So I have this dict, and in this dict, then again let's start with. Again, the example that we looked into our presentation slides, that was we had a brand and each brand has a value. So let's take our first value as Ford, comma, then we are going to take our model as, so for me as I am a Mustang lover, so let's take Mustang. Same thing, let's take year of manufacturing as quite old, 1989. So these are some random now let's execute it and if I want to print it out print this dict and I'll get all the values now again how to access the values this dict side of that I can just write out uh, whatever uh, key I want so my key uh, is here so I'll get the year and again I can have brand Ford and similarly I can have for the model so how can this be useful let's say I want a variable that is having all the details of a particular car, car that is sold out to any particular person okay. then you can create out a dictionary you can write the model year of manufacturing name of the retailer name of the manager all of that and store it out in a dictionary which will help you to access value value very easily you can just call out mustang uh, this dict or whatever you have named out let's say i have named out the dictionary as the username who has uh, brought that car so let's say paul paul has brought out the car of model price here i can just look out at all of these now one very important thing that we can look into this is how we can assign values okay so let's say this dict in this dict i want to change the year that is I want to change the year to 2021 and if I view this dict now you can see that the year has been completely changed so this is mutable you can change out the value as and when it is required now dictionaries are very much flexible with data types okay so what I mean by this is this is my dict and if I want to create a new key let's say key 1 in key 1 I can store out some numbers let's say I am will be storing out 3 4 5 6 7 and again at key 2 I am going to store a list that is 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 and let's say at key 3 I am going to store out a uh, let's say uh, um, I'm going to store a, a list of strings so I'm going to write out some names Paul Vijay and Murli that's it now if I want to display it out I can just check out what my dict is so at key we have this if you want to visit out the same thing my dict and in brackets I'm going to write key 2 that's it uh, that's how you can value out over there right now you what you can see is I have my dict key to this one same thing for my dict key 3 okay so all of these are possible in dictionary that's it for this video in our next video we are going to look into how we can index out inside of an dictionary thank you everyone let's move into our next video